welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back to my channel if you're a lovely subscriber of mine so today as you can tell it's a Christmas video you guys I am so excited for Christmas this year as you could tell Christmas is one of my all-time favorite holidays so I'm just like super excited about that leave it in the comments below like what are you gonna do for Christmas like what do you typically do on Christmas Day so yeah guys in this video as you can already tell by the title I'm going to be showing you 10 Christmas hacks and DIYs that you haven't heard before I learned a bunch of new things by making this video so I really hope that you guys enjoy it so yeah guys enough for me talking because I can go on forever here are 10 hello did I just say Halloween here are 10 Christmas hacks and DIYs that you haven't heard before I hope you enjoy so first DIY is how to transform a CD into a donut ornament grabbing a bit of light brown paint by the way I'm using acrylic paint paint the outer edge of the CD apply three coats of paint so that's completely opaque I actually didn't have light brown paint so I used red green and yellow acrylic paint to make this donut color after the paint has dried on your disc, apply the icing using a baby pink color. Paint the icing outline, which by the way is super curvy on the edges. Again, apply three coats of paint so that it's opaque. When the icing paint has dried, move on to the next step, which is to apply some sprinkles to your donut in a random pattern. This is my favorite part because the sprinkles really makes it come to life and it just looks really cute. Once you're done adding sprinkles all throughout the icing, this part is completely optional. If you want to go the extra mile, draw an outline on the outer edge of the icing using a darker shade of pink. This gives it more of a cartoon look. Final step, tie a small piece of twine to hang up your masterpiece and that is all. A really cute and different Christmas ornament to make your Christmas tree look quirky and girly this year. Here's a cool hack for you, how to make an easy coffee cozy in under 5 minutes using a sock. It requires absolutely no knitting, sewing, or any skills for that matter, so it's perfect and super quick and easy to do. Just cut the middle section of the sock, the section that would normally cover your ankle, then simply fit the sock onto your mug. Really cute way to warm up your hot beverage without burning yourself and look really festive while you're at it. It's so easy to make, you guys should definitely, definitely try it out. Next DIY, how to make fake snow using only two things, baking soda and shaving cream. The glitter is optional. Add the desired amount of baking soda to a bowl, then slowly mix in the shaving cream. As you slowly mix in the shaving cream, you will discover a fantastic moldable snow. Add glitter just for fun, but it isn't necessary of course, and that is all. The snow is super soft, silky and smooth, and oh my god guys, it smells so good and clean. It's also naturally cold, and I'm not sure why, but it is. It's super addicting to play with and my favorite favorite part is that you can even mold it like you would normally do with snow super super cool idea you guys should definitely try it out here's yet another way to make artificial snow using paper towels this way is much much quicker and mess free grab a few paper towels and rip them apart next place them in the blender or food processor be sure to use the pull setting so that the paper towel doesn't wrap around the blades after blending up the paper towels you'll have nice fluffy snow let me just say that this looks way more realistic than the artificial snow that they sell in stores it literally takes 30 seconds to make and cost me zero dollars super easy and great for Christmas decor Next, here's how to make festive Christmas drinks using ornaments. So grab a plastic ornament. Do not use glass ornaments for the DIY, guys. Take the lid off and take off the metal clasp that's attached to the lid. Next, using a knife or X-Acto knife, punch a hole in the center of the lid. Once you've made your hole, you can now again take the lid off to fill with a cold beverage of your choice. Do not fill in with hot drinks. Since this is plastic, it could possibly melt and you do not want that. Lastly, add a paper straw and that's it. You guys, this literally took me like one minute to make. It's super quick to do and it's so creative. This is so perfect for a Christmas party. It's really cute and it'll definitely catch people's attention. Next, here's how to make a DIY peppermint bowl. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Very generously grease the parchment paper so that the bowl doesn't stick later on. Of course, you will be needing peppermint starlight mints for this DIY. Start off by making a flower and from there you can gradually build it up. I want to make a medium sized bowl so I'm adding more in its same pattern. Very important, make sure that the candy is touched so that every part of the bowl is intact when melted. Once you've finished with that, preheat your oven to 275 degrees Fahrenheit and place it in the oven for about 10 minutes or so or until it looks flat. Remove and let cool for 1 minute. Next, turn a bowl upside down and place greased parchment paper on top. With the candy still on the parchment paper, flip the candy onto the bowl. Shape the candy around the bowl.
Once you're finished shaping it, gently lift the peppermint bowl off the bowl and then remove the parchment paper. So this is what it looks like. I love how it came out. You could use your new peppermint bowl to fill with peppermint candies for your guests. Such a different and creative idea. Next, here is how to make a last minute present box using a toilet paper roll. It's super easy to do and it only takes a few minutes. What you're gonna do is fold one side in towards the center. It should form a half moon shaped crease. Make the crease nice and sharp. Turn the roll around and fold the other edge inwards and smooth it out. Repeat the same steps on the other side. So this is what it'll look like once both sides are folded inwards. Of course, add some decor to bling it out. I'm wrapping some gift wrap on the middle and then tying a bow with twine. The end result really looks like I purchased the gift box in store. It doesn't even look like I DIY'd it. It's so convenient and extremely easy to do. And final hack, here's a cool little trick to do when you run out of gift wrapping decorations like bows and ribbon, etc. This is great for decorating your presents extremely last minute. So what you want to do is find a bow drawing on Google Images. Just look for the one you like and enlarge it. This is extremely easy to do. All you have to do is press the wrapping paper up against the screen. Don't push your screen too hard. You don't want to damage it. Lightly trace the bow design on your screen and make sure to increase the screen brightness so that you can clearly see the outline. Just keep tracing until the bow drawing on your wrapping paper is complete. Add some last minute detailing. I'm drawing ribbon on the top, bottom, and sides of my paper. Freestyle it and draw whatever it is that you want here. Just have fun with it. So here's the before and here's the after. It looks so cute and quirky. So now you guys know, this is such a convenient, cool last minute idea. So yeah, you guys, that was it for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these hacks and DIYs. Don't forget to let me know which one was your favorite. My favorite has to be the fake snow blending the paper towels. No lie, it took me like literally 10 seconds to do it. So yeah, guys, I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.